So let this be a part two of the video which I have dedicated uh, to maybe to I, I don't even know what exactly I would name this video really after uh, but it is concerning Slovenian Putistan social services it's concerning the scenario that was written with idea to get my parents away from me since they keep me unemployed forcefully unemployed again here in Slovenia that's what this is so if I go to the audio and what I already have presented you in part one in Slovenian language it sounds like <laughs> Odgovor mi. Hvala lepa, da se tu gor prinesla. We both with father, both of us are going to go home into a home for elderly people. Basically, home for elderly people. I already have identified where exactly are you going to go to? This is what also this part number two is dedicated to. And so if I continue, it goes like this. What you see here is what I prepared for my father so he would cover his uh, bucket he was using for urination during night time. Uh, his health improved enormously over the course of the time as he did have this cover for the bucket. Uh, it eventually, what I fixed him, fixed for him, eventually it ended like this. And this is what Mr. Kopsch was hoping for. Uh, just already as I have presented to you in a part number um, number one is this is this kind of stuff here yeah basically imitation of psychiatric drugs that were used against me you know that's the kind of stuff that's how i used to look like eventually my father did go at the request of the putistan as far as doing like this at the table Um, it's all audio recorded. I consider that as extreme insult. My father would use all the time language he used during hospitalization. Are they coming from Ljubljana? Are we going to Ljubljana all the time? During MK Ultra, he tormented mentally on that issue. Per Belgrade per Moscow on behalf of Ljubljana and you see him now faking it totally faking it which as I was told if he would say this they would definitely go and destroy him they definitely involved issues such as injections into cornea they involved the issues with the tooth they involved the issues with um, with blood pressure, all kinds of issues like this, they involved. Giving themselves possibility of doing such a thing. During so-called coronavirus crisis. Yet, I have to watch this with my own eyes. Keep on my mind the threats. And this is the kind of stuff that I would have to face with upon publishing my proofs. This is what I would get every time I would publish the proofs. This is what Kopsch anticipated. Uh, it would help him out on time, but I didn't bother to publish this stuff. This is what I prepared for him, fix it, and this is basically the way it ended, like this. He would go one morning and he would just destroy it, like that. break it basically
Yeah. He eventually succeeded in smashing the whole thing completely. So what I fixed him uh, so that he could use that, uh, he broke into a pieces. That's how I got up that morning. It matters not. Oh, and he did not stop short of that. When mother got up, uh, and when I asked him what exactly he's doing, he was asking me if we are going to Ljubljana, if we are going to Ljubljana. Um, basically, repeating the stuff he was doing to me when I was hospitalized and brought during the weekends from Ljubljana, uh, whenever the nurses were about to come to pay me a visit, uh, you know, that kind of stuff, acting stupid like this. If you will do this, I will do this. If you will do this, I will do this. And very soon they're going to come to pick you up. Very soon they're going to come to pick you up. This is the name of the song. No? And doing this uh, regardless of it. Coming inside of the room, in front of the room, pissing it at night time. Uh, playing a game like this to remind me of what I have gone through. Not even allowing me to talk, like I said, to my mom inside of the kitchen. If I would start talking to my mom inside of the kitchen, he would go and do the stuff like this and use <laughs> that kind of stuff. That's basically what that looked like. And I'll basically have to stop you. Now I have to stop you. Uh, the stuff you're about to see is a little bit disturbing, but it's not so disturbing. Uh, I was so pissed off. Uh, I have no idea how exactly. Was it the mom that asked me what I should do with them, uh, with these test subjects? Or was it that I told them? told my mom or whatever it is I did told I know I remember this very well uh, to poison them literally during MK Ultra I told them if you have to cook for them I told I told her don't forget to poison them so that the poisoning subject could also be rationalized against me they started to advise me all kinds of stuff how I should boil the water and stuff like this this is nothing wrong with the water the water is okay it's just that I think I deem that the boiler where the hot water is heated the, 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 the heater the, the boiler where the hot water is that's not the stuff you want to use to prepare yourself a coffee or whatever you just want to let the cold water out and warm that thing and then drink that stuff uh, that's one of the things I did found is wrong, but for a week, for one week, I actually swallowed the brainwash on how I have to boil the water. Boil the water. Well, it's not like this, but the pans that were used, that they're not even from my mom. They are from my mom, but what they would do is they would let them sit inside of the water during MKR for a little bit, they, they prepare them for this shit. Till those would get rusted completely, and they might even get them from somewhere else, this whatever it is. And so when you would boil this, the rust would just drip inside of the, uh, the water. And you would poison automatically yourself. It looks like this just going from one issue to the other uh, this shit is more poisonous than the one in Poland I just realized that uh, the rust is actually dripping from the side of this thing 
that is correct when you cover this thing vapor goes inside of uh, underneath of this uh, metal thing which covers nothing other than the rust underneath and what that does it releases all the rust is dripping floating inside of the water that you drink so the most poisonous water eventually would be the one that you boil in the end i figure out after boiling water for about a week but i i i did not allow rust dripping inside and then i stopped then i would start to use just simply a cold water from the sink that's all i would do but i learned i understood that this was just what can i say um let me play this for you again what exactly that looks like it reminded me of this, this brainwash Sergey had to go through. I just realized that this is what Sergey had to go the, through. That kind the of rust stuff. is actually dripping from the side of this thing here inside, especially when you cover this with uh, with. Some Come on, uh, let's be intelligent. Um, then you have that kind of issue. Uh, what was it? 27th of February the 27th, yep. I am measuring the radiation throughout the day, and I can tell you it was blowing all day long. I can already tell you I would go occasionally take time if I was to go and fast forward. Uh, I did, however, manage to caught my mom. incinerating a uh, burning onion and throwing one inside of the water uh, inside of the soup well I didn't get any soup anyways but when I saw this thing here I just video recorded it my mom did this shit like I said she would throw herself under the truck for me That's what that looked like. Yeah, no, permidosh, permidosh. <laughs> my mom, my mom get pissed off with me uh, and kicks my ass and I disappear from the kitchen real fast. Okay, I go back here and you can see according to the time nothing changes. And I have this on a stand pot, on a tripod, so that somebody would not doubt. Throughout the day I do it. I did some of this. To tell you the truth, I don't even care anymore in respect to radiation what goes on uh it did not it uh maybe it, it doesn't affect me i don't care anymore okay because nobody does so why should i then if nobody does nobody does so finally different but in the mornings i would work myself all the way to the end it would be blowing this is just one day basically it matters not okay and we have another occasion here this is interesting one i mean if you did like this one here if you did like that one uh then i am sure you will like this one This is how father woke me up. Uh, actually, this is another one of this uh, funny stuff. It's burnt and it's waiting for me. Uh, father would not eat this stuff, but nobody would put this stuff away either. And it just sits there. And our MK Ultra, I was told. Uh, it's gonna sit till you gonna eat basically again my mom does it whatever because the goal is that's basically 
is what this stuff was all about, all about, all about, this kind of stuff. Uh, whenever I would get something unpleasant that would make me feel like it's gonna blow my head, whatever they have used, I don't think it was a guess the only thing they used, or through this is what they suggested me they would, and claimed me that when the gas is going to be used, when you realize this, you're going to talk whether you like it or not. Uh, my father would go and tweet something funny like this. This is These are actually seeds, and they are red as you see it, nice like that, and he twisted that to the window like that, like a joke. That's something new. That's kind of a heavy joke. I didn't finish the other joke though, as I promised I would. That one is... That one, at my surprise, that one is not even there. And that's... Not a good job on my behalf. If you did like that one, that's also an interesting one, hey. Yeah, he was doing this stuff close to half an hour, rather than he would say to me, uh, or to someone else, so that we would help him open the window, he just... Uh, proceeded to do all kinds of slamming and uh, it felt like the window is going to eventually get broken really this is how I got up that day this is again uh, what mother told me if you're going to eat one it's going to be bad but if you're going to eat um, Easter eggs and when I asked her about it, she said that the paint that you see is actually was sold in the store. Okay. These are Easter eggs. They are red like this. And they made me feel very, very, very shitty because I think they have a very, very impact, very bad impact on gland nodes. I would rather say poison, look at my hands what they look like. And they are not even anything on them. She told me under MK Ultra don't eat this, but I did. I assume responsibility for it, why not? Like a blood, like a blood. <laughs> okay, that's yet another kind of stuff. It's like this, if you really want to know who did this stuff, for whom this stuff was done, this is not what had to do with the Sergei or with the Lukashenko. This stuff was actually done this like glass, this. Look. however, I have taken with me. Let me explain to you something. This is the cup I did not use even three months. Well, I did, probably six months, and this is actually quite, I don't know, five euros or something like that, I don't know. I don't know how much it was, it was quite expensive. Then it's a good one. Well, and the Russian surface. came from Moscow, 
I have no idea which one was it. No, I don't have the photo here. I would uh, look at him. Eh? This was one of them, and that was from Moscow. Also involved in MK Ultra. He also had a spine problems. This boy. If you want to know, go and check, and you're going to see that he had a spine problems. Therefore, this guy was in Poland. I can already tell you because I know them who had a spine problems. This guy claimed to have a spine problems, and I was guilty to him. He wanted to, 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 to crucify me. He wanted to see me like a Christ, literally suffer. He promised me all kinds of suffering and stuff like this. <laughs> um, he came from Moscow, not this one, or maybe this one. I don't even know which one it was. He would go straight always to the stuff I had, anywhere from jackets, shirts, pants, and inspect. And if everything was okay, he made sure that he left damage behind something. Anything he would do to get it destroyed. He inspected, in fact, to see, he did this one too, to see if everything was intact. Basically what I'm trying to say is if I would look abnormal. If pants were not destroyed, he would blame neighbors for it. The one to blame for from Moscow for not doing the job, sabotage, would be Andrei Ur or Dane Kolenz right across the street. Those are the two guys they have used. They were per Moscow, per Belgrade, to check if everything was in order, basically, destroyed so that I would look not normal in a public. So that's how this pot went. Uh, after the pot was destroyed, he told me, I don't know what he did to the bottom of it, that the pot is not of a good quality. It was this emulsion, a protective layer that he destroyed, that it's cheap, that is not a good quality and stuff like that which is used to and then he insisted me that if I would drink from this this is a very nice pot with a ring actually very nice uh, yeah four and a half euros it cost it uh, it's got a beautiful ring like this nice very nice stuff uh, and it just had to be destroyed it's a brand totally brand new yeah brand cup. new literally brand new, brand new cup I don't know how many times uh, I even like used. 450 for this thing. But the bottom on the inside destroyed and I was told don't even think about drinking from it because it's a poison now. Ha 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 ha. This is the one, the Putistan, the one who did this shit. This is the one that wanted Sergei to accept blame, to accept uh, Lukashenko to accept blame for it. No, they didn't have anything to do with it. Really nothing. Well, this is very important stuff. If you want to know who this did this what... stuff, this is the one who did it. Look. These are desks which, like this, I have used in Poland to place across the seat, back seat. Uh, so I have used this as a sleeper, car as a sleeper, so I had a place to sleep, basically. Mitya Weber, if I go back to this issue here, this is the gentleman, this is the man, this is a dumb man who insisted that he helped me out already, he already prepared everything for me, my niece's husband. Just go, he said, just go, don't even waste time, just go, and yes, I was told that there will be no employment by Vucic personally. There will be no employment, not only Nova Mesta, but all the way to Ljubljana and Celia. Later on, he insisted even about Maribor. They involved the Kirka Pharmaceutical Company. And so if you want to know who this idiot is behind stuff like this, placed here, for me to remind my... I can say that according to my niece, 
I don't know which one, which one of the two was more evil. Uh, this individual eventually promised me that I'm gonna live as long as his father did, up to age 50. And he promised me this already 15 years ago, more than 15 years ago. Uh, insane, criminally insane, truly criminally insane. Not my mom, not my dad, they have used them literally as a hostages for the Putistan, for their issues. So, there are proofs like this I could post online for which they hoped for. They would accomplish this thing here. The both of us with the father are gonna go into the home for elderly people. Where are you gonna go? Well, about my father, I am gonna put it this way. You hear this? This is the man I have recognized, identified at the torches. Now listen to this. To help me a little bit. What does it say? Uh, also, you have to remind yourself from where we know each other. You have to be fair, I tell him. Uh, he start talking to me about the uh, Indianke, about the Indian girl. Indianke. Indian girl from Canada, the natives from Canada. Where? At Otochets. It's here. He says, uh, these are the uh, the Indian girls, right? The Indian girls, he says to me. Some sexy Indian girls from Canada were here at the Torchets. Uh, they were uh, Indian girls here from Canada. I, t I told him, from Canada, yes? I see. And when was it then? I asked him. He says in 2016. Okay. In 2016, says. Alright, so that's all you need to know about my father and about my mother. My father, whenever he possibly could, he tried to help me out somehow. But it's this beautiful government we have in Slovenia that works for the Putistan a little bit too much. Up, this here is what my father managed to take for me from Canada in 2016, where we both were with some other hunter on the trip. This is something he told me, make sure you're going to use. Uh, this man, this hunter who was in Canada, took this with him. Uh, that plea of my father. And this is what you see here is video recorded inside of the room. I video recorded person of this inside of the room of my father for hunting. My father was as sane and healthy as much as Slovenian government allowed him to be. This Slovenian government is a bottom of the bottoms. They want son against father, mom against uh, son, father against son, and so on and so forth. This kind of issues for the sake of the Putistan. It doesn't work like this. Mm, this is my father's room. And this here, this is a proof about the camp. You see what it says, Canada, right there? This is from Canada. Not because somebody would brought him this thing from Canada, because he was actually in Canada with me. Yeah. Look, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. I'm going to magnify this for you. So don't try to put my father in between all this stuff. You you got whatever you possibly could. He did best 
he possibly could have done it for you. Uh, he did. He threatened every time I posted the news, uh, just as he promised me he would. If I would not see myself eye to eye with the Belgrade, with the Moscow, with the Chetniks, if I would not obey Chetniks from Ljubljana, he did. He did everything he possibly could. So, the only thing I have to say to Mr. Peter Kopsch, it's an epic failure for one thing I'm going to say, but... Zdaj si samo še ena druga stvar potrdila. Tu si super naredila, ker si to gor ponesla. Well, look at it. No need for this Orwellian speech. Kind of a stuff. April the 2nd, 2021 it is. Uh, just go and see this video and sure that you will understand what is going on. You will understand none of this stuff here, none of this stuff here was done on behalf of my father. This stuff was done truly at the request of this here. This is called Poliska, Policiska Uprava Novo Mesto. This here you already have seen. This is called, this is the Zbor Bar, Republic of Slovenia, on whose behalf they acted. It's a really, really simple. And that this individual here have taken stuff a little bit too far, a little bit too personal. Uh, that's a husband of my niece. That's actually really his problem. But other than that, you know, I don't actually have so much of a problem with my father and my mother. We get along well. It would be nice if you would allow these people to act like a normal people. You destroyed 26 years of my life and you damaged my family severely on behalf of the Putistan. That is of behalf of Berlin politic. I am not happy with it. Very little, however, have I got echo from people involved in, um, in my case, other than accusation of person who was involved with his family personally in my case for no less than 26 years. That's Joe Biden, now a president. I have never got a single email. I never got anything from this guy. And uh, it's, it sounds nice when you say that Putin is a killer. But, you know, it kind of a sucks when that's all I ever got. Considering that you know so much about my case, considering that you do really know me personally very well, and considering that just about everything possible is being done to hush this, that everything is pushed forward, uh, everything is done basically to ignore the real issue here. And that's the kind of stuff that is a little bit disturbing to me. I know that it doesn't go probably, I'm going to say, hand to hand, eye to eye with what is expected of me in Berlin. Uh, but you know, you have to respect 
American Constitution, you have to respect international treaties, you have to re respect laws and not behave uh, lawless. You can't just behave, abuse your position, your state privilege, privilege given to you by the state to neglect what I just stated right now. You can't do that. You did it. You guys did this for 26 years. You did. So, thanks for watching this video. Again, if I give you the time and date, look. Just to repeat the time and date to you, today is Friday, April the 9th of 2021. Father, uh, destroying the watch. Let's see right now the time. 6.34 in the morning. Interesting. Uh, this shit is more poisonous than the one in Poland. I just realized that uh, the rust is actually dripping from the side of this thing here inside. Especially when you cover this with, uh, with something like this.
Ja, no, për me i dosh, për me i dosh e këtë ta asë gaj asë që njësë në vidu. Këtë lëkur në kjo prashën Këtë lëkur në kjo prashën Këtë lëkur në kjo prashën Këtë lëkur në 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 prashën Ma si ka një këtë duqeri këtë njësë për pravë në dënërë? Tu një Like a blood, like a blood. <laughs> Retro book uh, was a chocolate like this from Milka. Special chocolates, uh, which my mother would go. I don't know exactly with what exactly these chocolates are filled, but I think that they are designed to literally cause a tremendous damage to the gland nodes, lymph nodes. If one is injured, you are literally fucked and my mom would go inside of the store to a store and she would collect this kind of special chocolates one time she did and let me tell you i felt it's uh, unless they did something else unless they, they used something else along this thing but i think i did felt i definitely remember one from nk ultra scenario but this sound, this pressure, this uh, blood pressure, whatever it is, that's been causing this sound in my head, pressure, uh, it, it, it exploded within seconds. And because they told me not to forget to talk about this kind of stuff, uh, I presume uh, that... This absolutely was part of MK Ultra, used to trigger some of these issues. Uh, Peter Kaps, the psychiatrist, again, Peter Kaps, hey, this is really pathetic. Uh, excuse me, but I am not. Uh, <coughs> I, I'm not impressed with this individual told me that if I'm going to say that, and I did so, because we went inside of the store, my mom started to push uh, stuff that really was not uh, the stuff, you know, I would want, um, stuff for which, according to MK Ultra, I would become sick. If I would mention the word like human experimentation or a test subject, uh, animal, test animal, that he said this would be like a last stage, last stage for you. 
then you're fucked. But this this guy is insane a little bit. Excuse me. Seriously. Another stuff they told me don't even go and eat. It's called a Gouda cheese. This was also included inside of the MK Ultra book. Um, sorry, that's not exactly Gouda cheese. That's a um, fine cheese. That's a fine cheese with uh, malt. I don't know exactly what, but again, mother bought one. Again, she bought one just now. Eventually, this is inside of the fridge. I'll be better off just to demonstrate it so you can see it yourself. Evidently, as they told me on that MK Ultra, they told me don't even think about eating that kind of cheese and don't think about eating. Don't try to even think about consuming any cream. As my sister laughed as insane. Everything you like, everything you like, everything you like. Um, all the good things, all the good things. Just as, uh, well, All the good things, all the good things. Everything you like. That's uh, basically this kind of cheese. That's that kind of cheese I'm talking about. That's something new. I have not seen any like this yet. Sure. March 22nd, 2021. Okay, that's basically what it looks like on the inside. This is not dirty, this is eaten away, like this. It's completely eaten. The surface, the bottom, the, that emulsion protection layer, it's being destroyed. The guy actually suggested me that he put some, I didn't want to state earlier, but that he put some kind of liquid inside that ate the bottom. And what is underneath is totally toxic. Okay, so when you put the light on, you don't, you don't get to see anything. I didn't do well a little bit earlier, but that's what this is like. I don't know how many times I drink from this thing, from this cup. I maybe used this thing, what, maybe 30 times. Well, this is very important stuff. This is, was placed here for me to remind myself of the possibility, basically, to cut this, throw this inside of the car I would buy according to husband from my niece, even the Renault Clio would be good. Anything would be good. First seat down, this desk, the back seat away, uh, just as long as you can sleep, just as long as you can sleep. No, this is this shit here. So he eventually prepared here, like he said he would, to remind me, to remind me. So, that I would not forget.